What's up everybody, my name is Grady Eilig and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to share about best embedded software engineering projects for beginners. So make sure you hit that like button, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, and without further ado, let's get started. Even though I'll be sharing about my thoughts and my ideas, what might be the best embedded software engineering projects, I truly believe that you might have different interests and you might have better embedded software engineering project ideas. So please leave them in the comment section below because I really want this video to be about an information source for you guys, not just about me talking about these projects and so on. Yes, this will be helpful, but I think you guys can contribute to this video as well by leaving comments on what do you think would be the best embedded software engineering project. So please do that. Leave comments down in the description below. So that would be awesome and greatly appreciate it. So the first one that I would recommend is a Bluetooth controlled robot or a line following robot or sumo bot or anything in that area. Honestly, just creating your own robot, whether it's a simple a hobby project or, or something you're doing for a competition, it's, it's a valuable experience to learn. You will learn about timers, both with modulation, algorithms. You will learn also about encoders, DC motors, uh, MCUs, like, that's like a bunch of information. Also, there's sensors like IR sensors or you might use sonar sensors. So totally depends. Or you could do a video system that you put a camera on it and it would detect an item through some algorithm and then would, I don't know, ram that item or anything like that. So there's so many ideas to do with those robots, but I think this is a great starting point. I honestly, one of the first projects that I did in embedded software was a sumo bot. I did it in college and it was a really good time. I went to a competition with my friends who were on the same team with me and we, we sucked big time, but we, we had fun and that's what mattered. We had fun. I, 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 obviously, we were a little bit disappointed that we lost. The second idea would be item and vehicle tracking using GPS. So you can create your own GPS system to track in car, for example. So you can put in a GPS sensor and together with an MCU, write some code based on to process the GPS data. And there you go, there's your GPS tracking device. It's pretty simple, but a very essential system in a lot of devices out there. Whether it's cars, drones, or planes, or anything like that, GPS is really important. There's a lot of security issues around it. Obviously, you want you don't want anyone to access your GPS data. So start off simple. Don't do anything complicated. You, you don't have to do like these crazy, massive ideas that Mar Mark Rober does on like YouTube or something like that. Do simple stuff. And that's how you can learn and get started. This is this is for beginners. Do a GPS system. Just like see like if you can move the GPS sensor from one end of the room to the other end of the room and see if uh, the location changed. Like if you got different data and like try it out. I'm personally a big fan of smart city and smart home inventions. You could start off with creating a simple smart trash can like I did here. And honestly, all you need is an MCU and a sonar sensor, and that's how you can create the system. You can use some API to uh, send text messages if you want to, or you can use an LED to create an indicator for it or anything like that. So it doesn't have to be super crazy. You just need to take the first step and get started. Or you could also create your smart security system. So put out a camera, process the data, send it to your own application on your phone, that's, that's a little bit more advanced stuff and takes more effort. But I think having that idea and go where you need to go, uh, it would be very important. You could also do a smart room temperature monitoring system, put a, a temperature sensor out there and measure the temperature and that would control uh, if the AC would turn on or off. So basically you would have your home nest system done by yourself. Last one that I would recommend is biomedical monitoring system. There's like so many projects here that you could do, but a idea for you would be that you could create a body temperature heart rate measurement system. So you could collect the data about your body temperature and heart rate and determine if you're sick or not. I don't know how you use heart rate for it, but at least body temperature, if you're above like 100.4 Fahrenheit, 
you have a fever. I don't know if you noticed, but during COVID, you probably have seen these devices out there that measure your body temperature without actually touching you in any way. You just sit in front of it, there's this camera with some sensors that will scan you and it would just uh, say that, oh, you, you, have a, uh, you have a fever or not. So basically you could create something similar not that extent, obviously. Anyways, when you're creating these embedded software projects, I highly encourage you to use real-time operating system or embedded Linux if you feel like your skill set is at that point. If you feel like you're not ready to take that step to use those tools to accomplish it and use operating systems, then don't. Just, just take a step back and do the work on just bare metal. Uh, just learn about the basics and so on. Again, this video is for beginners, but I encourage you to use real-time operating systems. So thank you so much guys for checking out this video. I truly, truly appreciate it. Make sure you hit the like button and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Seriously, consider doing that because we're over halfway to 1,000 subscribers and we're almost there. So smash that subscribe button. Other than that, I'm out of here. Bye.